You're getting to be a big boy. I'm just a kid who's four. Each day I grow some more. I like exploring. I'm Caillou. So many things to do. Each day is something new. I'll share them with you. I'm Caillou. My world is turning, changing each day. With mommy and daddy, I'm finding my way. Growing up is not so tough. Except when I've had enough. But there's lots of fun stuff. I'm Caillou. 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 I'm Caillou. <laughs> That's me. Daddy, I want to cook too. Sorry, Caillou, but the barbecue is too hot. Why don't you go play with Rosie until dinner's ready? <laughs> look, mommy, look. Oh no, ants! <laughs> Yuck! Why don't you go see if Grandma needs some help in the kitchen while I make sure there are no more ants around? Okay, mommy. Grandma, what are you doing? I'm making my special top secret potato salad. Top secret? Shh. <laughs> You can be my taste tester. <laughs> Yummy! What a beautiful night. I think I see the evening star. Wow, it's pretty. This reminds me of the time I saw a shooting star. A shooting star? It's a star that flies across the sky like a bird. It's like magic. Well, Caillou, let's get back to work. Come and get it. Look, a shooting star! Wow! What a beauty! Where? It was just there a second ago. Grandpa, there was a shooting star outside, but it's gone. I'm sure there'll be more. Well, let's go see. Look, Caillou, there goes another one. Where? I want to see. <sighs> Don't feel bad. Shooting stars are very fast and hard to spot. Caillou still wanted to see a shooting star. He decided he would wait as long as he had to. I'm sorry you missed the shooting star, Caillou. Why don't we look at the moon instead? Yay! I want to see the moon! <gasps> the moon is big! You see this group of stars? That's called the Big Bear. I can't see a bear. Oops. Let's see. Where were we? Here we go. And that one's the Little Dipper. See you soon. Look quick, Caillou. Oh, I missed it again. Don't worry, Caillou. There'll be other shooting stars some other night. Caillou wasn't sure he would ever see one. He felt sad. Time for bed, Caillou. It's late. Nighty night. Good night, stars. Wow! <laughs> Gilbert, that tickles! Caillou wasn't sure if he should be waking Mommy and Daddy up. Gilbert! Good morning, Caillou! Do you want to fly this morning? <laughs> Daddy, make me fly! Whee! Oh, no! The alarm didn't go off. I'm going to be late for work. Caillou, why don't you go downstairs and feed Gilbert? I'll get Rosie up. Gilbert, wait for me! Gilbert, look what you did! Mommy's in a hurry, so eat up, okay? Caillou wasn't happy that everyone was in such a rush this morning. <laughs> That'd be funny. Whoa! <laughs> Finish your breakfast, Caillou. We're in a hurry. We ate all our breakfast. Great! Could you brush your teeth now? You want to look like mommy? Yeah! Go like this. 
Rosie, don't move. Caillou, did you do this to your sister? Uh, I wanted Rosie to look pretty like you. You know that you're not allowed to play with my makeup. Come on, Rosie, let's get you cleaned up. Go on, get dressed. You and Rosie are going to your playgroup this morning. I don't want to go to playgroup. Caillou! What's taking him so long? Go on and start the car, honey. Caillou, Mommy is waiting for you outside. Caillou couldn't keep up with the hustle and bustle and began feeling a little overwhelmed by it all. I don't want to go with Mommy. I want to stay home with you. But I'm going into work later on. I don't want you to go to work. Hang on. I'll be right back. Mommy was told to go on ahead and that Daddy would walk Caillou to playgroup. Are we going to stay home and play today? No, Caillou. Daddy still has to go to work. But first, let's get you dressed. I have something to show you. What are you going to show me, Daddy? I'm going to show you a whole bunch of people that have to go to work, just like Mommy and me. Good morning, Caillou. Are you working? Sure am. I'm delivering the mail. Would you like to help me? Can I? Here, could you take this letter and put it in Mr. Hinkle's mailbox? You see, Caillou? A mail carrier works every day. Why? To make sure that Mr. Hinkle gets his mail and your dad gets his bills. <laughs> Over there, Daddy! Quick! Are you sure you two don't want to come and work with us? Can we? Sure. But not until you're a little older, okay? You have to wait until you're big and strong. It's a tough job keeping the town clean. After all that hard work, how about we get us a snack? Yes! I just have to make a quick stop first. Why do you have to work, Daddy? Because I enjoy working, and I make money doing it. But the machine gives you money. Yes, it does. But first, I have to put it in. Is it a chocolate chip muffin like mine? No. Can you turn on the lights on top? Maybe the officers are busy, Caillou. Not at all. We're on break. Would you like to turn them on, Caillou? Yes. This is Officer Caillou, 10-4. <laughs> okay, Officer Caillou. Time to let them go back to upholding the law. be a police officer when I grow up. You can definitely do that too, Caillou. But first, let's get you to your playgroup, okay? Daddy has to go to work now, just like all the people we saw at work this morning. Okay? Okay. There you are, Caillou. I was wondering when you were going to show up. Mrs. Martin, I sat in a police car. Really? <laughs> that must have been fun. <laughs> I was showing Caillou people at work. We also saw a mail carrier and a garbage collector. Right, Caillou? But the police officer has the best job. But I think my job is the best in the whole world because I get to play with you. 10-4, Officer Caillou. Gilbert to the vet for his regular checkup. Gilbert, where are you, you bad cat? But Gilbert was missing. I can't see the box anywhere, honey. Are you sure it's down here? Did you find Gilbert, Caillou? No, Daddy. And I can't find his box. Look what I found. When Gilbert saw his box, he knew that meant he would be going in the car. And Gilbert didn't like going in the car. Gilbert doesn't want to go to the vet. I know, but he has to. He needs a checkup. A checkup? 
Like when I go to the doctor? Exactly. The veterinarian is Gilbert's doctor. It's okay, Gilbert. I'll look after you. <laughs> got out of the box. Okay, don't worry. Everything's under control. I hope. I can see his tail. Bad cat, Gilbert. He's not really a bad cat. He's just scared. He doesn't like riding in the car. Silly Gilbert. I love riding in the car. Gilbert was back in his box, and they were on their way again. By the way, Caillou, just how did Gilbert get out of his box? I just wanted to pet him. That was nice of you, but let's leave him in the box from now on, okay? Okay. Sarah! Hi, Caillou. What are you doing here? Gilbert is having his checkup. to have his teeth cleaned. He has to stay overnight. Did you bring his toothbrush? <laughs> no, silly. He doesn't have a toothbrush. Dr. Orangeville has to clean his teeth for him. <laughs> Good. Everything's fine here. And now I have to give Gilbert his shot. Is it going to hurt? Not very much. And it'll make sure he stays healthy for a whole year. How would you like to help me, Caillou? Just pet Gilbert and keep him calm. Don't worry, Gilbert. There, all done. That wasn't so bad now, was it? Gilbert, come back! Oh, no, not again. Leo, what have you got there? It's my new rocket! Wow! <laughs> Having fun? <laughs> We're spacemen! I thought you might be. We're going to the moon! <laughs> Just make sure you come back in time for lunch, okay? I don't want to. The moon's this way. <laughs> Whoa, spacemen, slow down a bit. Lucy really wanted to play with Caillou and Leo. Oh, this is interesting. There's a planetarium opening tomorrow. I think I know a couple of spacemen who'd be interested in that. <laughs> Me too. And look, they're having a contest for the best space costume. A space costume? Hmm. Are <laughs> you playing with Teddy? No, Rosie! want to play with them, sweetie. Tell you what, why don't we find a game we can play? <laughs> we could make space costumes. Have you heard the news? They're opening a planetarium. What's that? Well, let's see. It's a kind of movie theater where you can see stars and planets inside. Wow. Can we go? I don't see why not. Would you like to come, too? I'll call your mom. And there's a contest, too. A contest? Yes, for the best space costume. Leo, you look just like a spaceman. And I'm a space monster! <laughs> Caillou, Mommy told me you made Rosie cry today. I know you don't always want to play with Rosie, but she is your sister, so you always have to be kind to her. Okay, Daddy. Come on, finish your milk. It's time for bed. <laughs> You've got 
milk on your lip. <laughs> What's so funny? Oh, I get it. <laughs> You do look like you've been to the Milky Way. What's the Milky Way? Well, let's see. It's, um, it's the galaxy containing the solar system. It's a place in space where there are millions and millions of stars. Just what I need. What do you want those for? It's a secret. Caillou really wanted to know what Mommy's secret was. What Caillou and his daddy didn't know was that Mommy was making space costumes, too. Perfect. Why are there stars? Um, I, uh, hmm. Night, night, Daddy. That night, Caillou dreamed all about the stars and the planets and the Milky Way. costume? I'm going to win the contest. Welcome to the planetarium, everyone. <gasps> I have a special game for you today. Look, I'm walking on the moon. Can you do this? That's great. <laughs> and over here is the Milky Way. <laughs> and now something extra special. Walking on the moon. This is the moon, and here come the moonwalkers. Wow, we're on the moon. And that's the end of our show, except for just one more thing, the contest for the best space costume. And the prize goes to... Rosie and Rosie's Mommy. So that's what Mommy wanted the oven mitts for. Congratulations! <laughs>